Since the national security law came into effect, Hong Kong has generally returned from chaos to order. So far, we have made 186 arrests and prosecuted 115 people and five companies. We have convicted 10 individuals from eight cases. The highest penalty so far has been a nine-year prison term. We have exercised rights under Article 43 to confiscate travel documents and order responsible parties to delete harmful information online. We believe our enforcement has been quite successful. The first threat we face is homegrown terrorism, which didn't exist in Hong Kong before 2019. There are anti-social individuals that commit vandalism or attacks, and terrorist groups making explosives and targeting public transportation. The second threat comes from external forces and their proxies. They want to destabilize China through causing trouble in Hong Kong. We need to strengthen our intelligence gathering and strictly enforce the law. Legislation is also important. For example, Article 23 of the Basic Law will help cover areas the national security law has not. Finally, we also need to cultivate patriotism and educate people about national security. The fifth wave of the pandemic was very serious. Our disciplined services had a big task of enforcing closures and tracing close contacts of confirmed cases to prevent further infections. We also helped enforce the mask mandate and manage quarantine facilities. At the peak of the outbreak, we had over 10,000 people across 26 facilities, with 2,000 new entries every day. In the future, we need to have more contingency plans for various scenarios and have better logistical safeguards. We should also better inform the public and crack down on fake news and rumors that disrupt society. Of course, we have the strong support of the mainland government. It's important that we learn from their experience.